Hey, folks, down here in Grand Cayman, and I'm about to do the record, the Oral Verde. Let's check it out. The Oral Verde is a wreck on the west end of Grand Cayman with an interesting history. We first hit the wreck coming up from the south side of Paradise Reef. I had just videoed a stingray feeding on a garden eel. You can see him cruising here in front of the bow section. Before the sinking of the USS Kittywake, the Oral Verde was Grand Cayman's premier wreck dive. She is now a low-lying wreck with piles of twisted metal scattered across the sandy bottom with much of the debris pushed up on the Paradise Reef. She sits in 55 feet of water. The bow section is the largest remaining piece of the wreck pointing to the south. Originally built for the U.S. Army Transportation Corps in 1944 as the FS-217 at Higgins Industry in New Orleans as the Colonel Armand Peterson. She was 179 feet in length with a 32-foot beam. She had a 9-foot 3-inch draft and displaced 938 tons. She spent 11 years doing coastal surveys off the Lesser Antilles and Central America, then placed in reserve on 17th of February 1956. Shortly after she was acquired by the U.S. Navy, she was converted to a Banner Class Environmental Research Ship as the Ager 3 at Puget Sound Naval Yard. Her crew was increased to 83 and she had two M2 Browning 50 caliber machine guns added. Around the bow there are a few sunken bicycles. Apparently a dive master started a trend years ago of riding old bicycles off the bow of a dive boat. This practice was discontinued a while back out of respect for the environment. In May of 1967, she was commissioned into service as the USS Palm Beach and deployed to the North Sea. During her two-year career with the U.S. Navy, she also toured the Mediterranean. Technical research ships like this were used by the Navy to gather intelligence communications during the Cold War in the 60s. The USS Palm Beach was the sister ship of the USS Pueblo, which was captured by North Korea on January 23, 1968, while spying off its coast. It is still a captive vessel today. The capture of the Pueblo, though, compromised the mission and the technical equipment used by other Ager research ships. Shortly thereafter, most were decommissioned and struck from the Naval Registry. If you're new to the channel, please click subscribe and check out the videos on the Kitty Wake and the Doc Polson. Generally, there are a lot of fish you routinely find nurse and reef sharks, rays, and turtle. 
vessel passed through several owners' hands before eventually being acquired by a Panamanian company and renamed merchant vessel Oro Verde. Over the next 10 years, the Oro Verde hauled bananas from Ecuador to Miami, hence the name Oro Verde or Green Gold. The bananas were loaded while they were still green, ripened on board, turning yellow just as they reached Miami. Local legend has it that the bananas weren't the only cargo of value carried by the Oro Verde. Stories of a mutiny over a load of marijuana found by the crew have been told by scuba enthusiasts since her sinking in 1980. Apparently someone wanted to sink her years before in Miami with a homemade bomb stuffed in a cigar box attached to her hull by a magnet. For some reason, it failed to explode. Therein lies another mystery. There is a book, although historical fiction, about the Oro Verde. It's a fun read that incorporates this history. She ran aground in 1976 on the reef right off Seven Mile Beach due to the mutiny, as the story goes. She sat on the reef for four years until acquired by the Cayman government and with the help of local dive community, cleaned her up and on May 31st, 1980, she was sunk as an artificial reef. At this point, she was still intact, but on September 12, 1988, Hurricane Gilbert, with winds reaching 175 miles an hour, hit Jamaica, luckily passed just south of Grand Cape. However, it did create a massive storm surge that picked up the Oro Verde and smashed it against Paradise Reef. That is how you see it today. This next clip was shot with a 360 camera. Check out the comparison 360 video, which gives you a better sense of the Rex layout, where you can control what you want to look at. I will leave a link in the description. There's another piece of wreckage reportedly from the Oro Verde that is almost a mile north at a site called Three Trees. Shows you the power of water. It's a shallow wreck that is routinely done as a second dive after the kitty wake. Since there is really nothing to penetrate, it's a great wreck for beginners. At this point, we ended our visit and headed up the north side of the Paradise Reef. While I was a wreck of the Oro Verde, certainly worth a visit if you are in Grand Cayman. As usual, I have several other videos in the works, so stay tuned for those. Stay safe in your dive adventures, have fun, and as always, my friends, go explore, get wet!